the ABC4 News. COVID-19 case numbers, of course, are rising in all parts of our country. But is there a way we could determine how much the population has been infected with the virus, helping to create herd immunity? ABC4's medical correspondent, Saray Chin, reports. The concept of herd immunity has been proposed as one way to address the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Achieving herd immunity would mean enough of the population has developed immunity to the coronavirus after either having been infected with it or having gotten a vaccine. When enough people are immune to the virus, it's much harder for it to spread, and the pandemic curve will begin to fall towards zero. But experts estimate we would need 60 to 70 percent of the population to be immune to establish herd immunity. One way we can determine how much of the population has had COVID-19 and therefore is immune to the virus is by checking a person's blood for antibodies to the virus. To do this, a team at the CDC used blood samples collected between July and September from all 50 states, as well as D.C. and Puerto Rico, and determined how frequently these samples carried antibodies to the novel coronavirus, which suggests prior infection and potential immunity. The team was able to estimate the proportion of the population who'd previously had COVID-19 in 48 of the studied areas, and in 42 of them, fewer than 10 percent of the population had antibodies to COVID-19. The Northeast had the highest estimate of people with evidence of prior COVID-19, but even that was only 23 percent. Still a long ways away from the 60 to 70 we need to establish herd immunity, which means the vaccines will be the major key to returning to normal. Sarajan, ABC4 News.